This is a good matchup for you folks. Como 1907 versus Wrexham. The fans have come out. They're ready to watch this one. Yes, this tournament 7v7. Two 20-minute halves. No offsides or throw-ins. Every game ends in target score time. All right, we are underway. Wrexham to start with it. You may not know, though, Como 1907, but you're going to. You're going to because of that. A goal by Marco Tremolata. Como looking inspired. You hear their fans cheering them on. It really comes out of being opportunistic in the box. Keep an eye on Tremolata. That trailing run from midfield, you have to keep an eye on your markers. Just a deft touch. Here is Steve Nash with it. We'll play it wide. Diego Ronco. Catron with the left, right at the body of Mark Howard, the keeper who currently plays for Wrexham. After you get that goal, it's managing the moments, managing the heat, the sun coming out as well. That's going to be a different factor for these Europeans. Tundo playing out. Here's Boyd with a shot, and that goes just wide. And that one-two punch of Boyd and Lee Trundle. Boyd the target man, and Trundle making the advance run, but can't find that bottom corner. And it's taken away. Odenthal plays it out wide. Ronco. Ronco with the left. Oh, just goes wide. And that was a nice run by Catron also, which kind of had the decoy for Howard. And this run comes off the outside shoulder of the defender from Wrexham. Such good instincts, active. Como doing well to keep one striker high, and that keeps you honest. It gives you something to think about. Marco Tremolata. Here's Catrone back for Tremolata. Tremolata shot, and that's going to go just wide. Wrexham was looking for a foul. They didn't get it, and now it's going to be a corner. They always say, play till you hear the whistle. Shot, another save this time by Howard. David, the one thing you said to me yesterday that was going to be key in this was to be able to learn quickly and adjust. Oh, what a move! What a save! Alessandro Gabrieloni comes over and heads it up off the crossbar to save a goal. Oh, that was incredible stuff. The athleticism you have to have if you're Gabrieloni, not just to get to the ball, but to head that and not head it in your own goal. Credit to Mark Carrington for recognizing the danger situation to come and double down. Here's a shot, and that's a save. Another one by Bolcini. Shot, save, Howard. Still in there. Another shot, another save by Howard. Turns one away from Francesco Lapari. Now Butler on the counter. His shot up high, no problem there. Oh, nice play. And we're going to have a goal. Indeed. It's Duccini. That's a big goal right there. That's good movement from Duccini. Como had been under a ton of pressure this half. And Rexon would have favored it to be 1-0 going into this extra period. But that first touch, his movement before he comes to the ball, creates the space. And that first touch is everything. It's just far enough from the goalkeeper, and Howard cannot keep it out. And that will be the whistle. So the target score is going to be three. Now a turnover. Como. Looking for the goal, and that goes just wide. Is that a save by Mark Howard? Ah, this has been the matchup throughout this game. Cartoni hits oh, off, the, off post. the post. Playing it wide. Butler. Here's Jones. Jones, a nice move, takes the shot, and he scores. Two to one. The player coach, David Jones, gets Wrexham on the board. This game is starting to heat up. The first goal is going to be so important. 
and it's the wise head of David Jones. That cut back the composure to recognize the Como players were going to come out, and that's a cardinal sin. Never jump or look away from the ball. And Jones, he's a two-footed player. I think this could very well favor a side like Como, but not if they give up possession like this. They're going to keep Catrone high. Jones, the nice pass, fake on the shot, and we're tied at two! Lewis Lloyd! Oh boy, this is why we love the target score. Did I say Como? I meant Wrexham. <laughs> this is such good play. The entry pass is there. And for Lloyd, the composure to check the shot. That check shot, kicking it down on the ground, it forces the goalkeeper out, and he's not going to miss from there. He just gets a body. Well, now he's wide open, coming down the middle. His shot, chip shot, up and over as Bolcini got a piece of it. Oh, man. This is end-to-end -end stuff. Look at Rutherford. He's got momentum and the audacious chip. But Bolcini making himself big and flaps. That long wind span is what makes a difference. Rutherford inside the shot. Goal! George Boyd wins it for Wrexham. If it was going to be one player who looked most likely, George Boyd from start to finish completes the fairy tale comeback for Wrexham. Boyd had been floating higher up, and he was a player that was going to benefit from having less people on the field. He goes in off the shoulder, and a lot of Wrexham's goals have come from off the ball running. And that first touch gets it out from underneath his feet. Nothing Polcini can do about that. And it writes another historic chapter in Wrexham getting this first win at this TST 7v7 tournament.